Good morning. So today I'm going to be trying to clear that pile of rubbish over there. Um, so what happened was a few years ago uh, we got the electricity board to cut down this tree here because uh, it was leaning towards the wires here. Uh, the top had been taken out years ago so it was dead and I was concerned that the roots were going to rot away and it would just fall and take the power out. Uh, so they kindly left us the logs all neatly stacked along here um, but they also left us a pile of branches neatly stacked there. Um, I was going to clear it the other year uh, but unfortunately the nettles and the brambles and that started to get in there um, and I couldn't actually get to anything. Uh, so now it's all died down for winter uh, I think it's the best time to get rid of it all. So let's get on. Okay, so that's most of the pile of uh, branches here cleared. Um, so you can already see the nettles are actually coming back. Um, so <laughs> I was going to say they're a pain in the backside to be honest. Uh, but the nettles aren't too hard to kill off. If you can get them with a strimmer and get them before they set seed, uh, do that a couple of times a year. It weakens the plant, they don't make it through the winter, and then they haven't put any seed out either so they don't grow back next spring um, but yeah the battery is almost flat on this and uh, I need some lunch so I'm gonna pop this on charge now I'll come back afterwards I just want to rake uh, those grasses there tidy that bit up maybe give this a bit of a rake over as well um, but I also want to deal with this elderflower here um, so like I say we're directly under the power lines here um, and because of that the electricity board cut branches here and the whole thing is just tipped that way um, so I want to take a lot of the weight off that side uh, and trim some of it from here as well uh, but if you actually look closely it's already starting to break out all these little purple shoots here uh, so that's all going to be new growth so if I just take the end off that will put all its effort into those new shoots and it should look lovely give it a year uh, it'll probably be full of flower looking fantastic and that'll just open this area up a lot more all right i'll see you in a bit okay i'm back um so i've got the rake with me i'm going to try and get some of these uh, dead grasses and that out the way um, i don't want to go too much on this section where the wood is it's very hard at the moment because if you do too much it's rather boggy uh, and it turns the mud up so i want to be walking on the branches to uh, so to spread my weight really um, but at the same time I want to tidy it up so it looks better so um, but yeah let's see what I can get on with
Okay, so that's tidied that up a little bit. Um, like I say, I'm going to get rid of this uh, elder. I say get rid of, cut back so it uh, grows in a nicer shape. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to empty this bag. So, see you in a minute. Okay, so I know that looks quite drastic, but trust me, it will look better for it in the summer. And now I've got to get that bridge cleared before those people come through. Okay, so that's that down. Let's go and see what it looks like. This is where I've been crossing all the time. It's just been getting boggier and boggier. So, uh, not fun. Well, that's looking a lot better. So I just trimmed the lower branches off that laurel. So you can actually see the water and the way it curves around that uh, boulder over there, which is really nice. Um, you've got some snowdrops coming up here. So you can see those a little bit better. And the name of it escapes me now, uh, but that clump of green leaves there comes out with a nice little bell-shaped pink flower. Uh, and uh, again, the name of it's completely gone out of my mind. But along the other bank there, you've got some uh, pond plants that you'd find along the uh, drop horse, I think it is. Uh, and they come up uh, with a big white flower on the top of those as well. So hopefully over the summer this won't look too bad. Uh, but now I'm letting the light in uh, and you can actually get to the ground uh, yeah it should hopefully improve over the next year and look a lot nicer so let's get rid of these two and then there's one last thing I want to do with this okay so final task of the day um, to be honest it's already started itself so this is a drainage gully from the fields over there uh, and it doesn't look great but it always looks better when it's got water in it uh, so what I want to do is build a little dam at the end there um, Just to keep the water level higher on this to be honest. So what I'll do is I'll stick you on a um, Stand over in the river there and uh, let's see what we can do for this Okay, so there we go, uh, that is the dam. Uh, now I know, first of all it's leaking, it's not intended to actually hold the water back as such. Uh, I'm wanting it to filter the water and any debris behind to catch and create a natural clog. Uh, so it is more to slow the water down rather than to actually stop the water completely. Uh, that said, it's doing a very good job of holding the water back already. Let's try and not trample the flowers. Wee. Right, uh, so yeah, the water level is a bit higher. Uh, I'm just waiting for the water to clear, and I will. I might try and add a bit more to that uh, once it's clear, see how it looks. Uh, but that's it for now. I shall see you later.